Hi, well, welcome back. It's uh, Jerry Devine from Thornfields and First Practice Management. And I've got five minutes to tell you everything you need to know about correspondence management, which can also be known as documentation management. Now, first, just to give a bit of background, let's cast our minds back to when the NHS came into being in 1948. Um, a lot has changed since then. Um, the NHS is an incredible success by most measures. The most important measure being that compared 1948 to now, people are living about 13 years longer. In 48, the average um, life expectancy was 65. It's now 78. And whilst you may not be able to put a price on that, some accountants can. So when it was first started, the running cost was about half a billion pound. The total cost for running it today can be in excess of 110 billion pound. So the challenge is how to get better outcomes, more outcomes from the same resources or less. So in a approach to try and square that circle, uh, NHS England produced a document uh, in 2016 called the GP Five Year Forward View. And that contained a whole number of incentives, the purpose of which were to increase either the productivity or the effectiveness and efficiency of general practice. Now, some of those were incentivized, i.e. NHS England were prepared to put their checkbooks where their intentions were. So some of the training needs attract bespoke funding. So one of those in particular I'm going to talk about today, and that's correspondence management. And as you would expect, Thornfields and First Practice Management have tried to do some of the heavy lifting on this topic for practice managers. So what have we done? We put together a program which is made up of four workshops which are progressive in nature and incremental in terms of the skills they can give to your team to grow their understanding of correspondence management. Correspondence management is essentially equipping your frontline staff with either checklists, protocols or processes which enable them to filter out some of the correspondence which has traditionally been given to GPs. Now just to quantify that, it's not unusual for a GP previously to receive in excess of about 50 pieces of paper every day. Once correspondence management has been introduced, that 50 pieces of paper goes down to something of the order 10 to 12. So there's an incredible time saving. So that time that's saved by the GP can be redeployed into real value adding activities that only GPs can do. And the upskilling of the non-clinical support staff means that they add even more value and evidence shows that their uh, uh, job satisfaction also increases. So these workshops uh, provide templates, protocols and procedures, which Thornfields haven't developed in isolation. We've partnered up with a GP's practice, which has road tested these approaches because they have adopted correspondence management for a number of years now. And because it meets all the funding criteria set by NHS England, the likelihood is that the net cost to your cells will be nil. So that's a mini update from me. Hopefully that's all you need to know about how to progress your uh, needs around correspondence management. We look forward to hearing from you. And so from me, until next time, it's goodbye.